Hi, Mike. Thank you very much for inviting us here today. Pleasure. Um, I guess the first thing is, is the food industry is so competitive mm. and you know you need waiters, bar staff, chefs, all of this. In my opinion, it feels like it must be really competitive. How do you deal with that? Yeah. Um, well, I'd say um, when Byron first started seven years ago, it was like a single category. So, um, uh, you know, it was, it, I guess it would have been a bit easier as a new concept. And um, the only place that was doing burgers like in the format that um, Byron was doing. But since then, there's not only been a, an explosion of uh, burger restaurants, there's also been massive growth in the casual dining sector. So yeah. uh, if you walk down the high street, you see new restaurants popping up everywhere. And that's created a real intensity around recruitment for um, for restaurants in probably what is what was already a low skill uh, or a skill shortage kind of area. So, um, so we've had to and and actually getting the best people um, in a high culture business. You know, you, you you have to you have to ace that because it provides. Um, a USP really for our business which is uh, part of the magic in the service is because we've got highly talented high culture um, type managers running running the restaurant so um, we've had to like be really creative um, in terms of finding the right people our problems um, before I started um, that I inherited were around having enough managers in the business and having um, enough um, high high potential, um, high performance kind of managers in the business. So, um, so yeah, so it has been a real, a real war for talent, not just a war for burgers, but a real war for people. <laughs> well, I guess, you know, the service is part of, of why people enjoy and choose certain restaurants. Yeah. You know, they, they go there for the food, which, you know, you've, you've got great burgers. Yeah. But then the other half of that is if the service isn't great because yeah. the staff aren't engaged, then yeah. you're going to lose customers. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, and we see it like, the, you know, there's an absolute correlation between um, our employee engagement, our labor turnover and our um, customer service measures um, and uh, in restaurants if you, you know it doesn't take long like if your service isn't there um, at, you know brilliant at all all the time um, your sales drop yeah. really quickly yeah. um, and that, that was our challenge really was that we um, we needed more managers so that we could be um, I think the ops managers were scared to be tough on performance because there weren't people coming through um, to, to you know fill, fill jobs. So there was we kind of have a target rate of 110% occupancy, so that we don't really have any gaps yeah. in our management teams. And um, we, when I started, it was 89%. So you can imagine how few, how many gaps, how many managers we had to, like 120 managers we, we had to find in a year to help with our growth plans, to help with our um, replacement plans. We had to bring down labour turnover, so we had to fill... Um, so we had like lots of gaps, and um, and we've we've done a brilliant job. I'm I'm really proud of what we've achieved in uh, recruitment. We've got our um, manager in, um, our occupancy rate at uh, I think it was 104 percent. So we're six off yeah. our target rate, but we um, have no general manager vacancies at, uh, currently. So we've we've worked hard, but we've um, but we fought fought the war, and we've um, I'd say for the last six to eight months we've been winning it. And there's lots of innovative stuff that we do in terms of recruitment, which I can tell you about. So tell us a little bit more about this innovative recruitment that you've got going on. Uh, well, just yesterday, uh, we held our third um, Speed Date Your New Employer. Oh, event. right. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, so it's complete. It's uh, you know emulates the speed dating format. So complete with bell that rings uh, after every five to ten minutes, and people move around. Um, but what we do is we um, start them off with a, a beer. Um, we finish it with a bourbon, um, and in between we tell them a bit about um, what makes Byron special in a short presentation. Um, and then after that, our, um, our development chef Fred Smith, um, he uh, kind of talks people through a tasting of the. Bunzilla, so um, which is our special burger at the moment. Mm. So they get a burger. Um, once they've had the burger, and the, they kind of understand a bit more about um, all of the uh, thought that goes into what we do, 
Um, they then um, get to meet different people um, from our talent programs or our ops managers or managers that have moved from um, a restaurant general manager role into a head office role. Um, uh, so we, we kind of get them then to, they then interview all of these different managers to mm. find out about um, our, our company. Uh, we don't ask any interview questions. Um, it's not about that. It's, it's just about helping other people who might one day want to work for Byron um, understand about our culture. And it's been really successful. We had um, about 15 people uh, and nine wanted to uh, participate in the, the next step, which was um, to go on our Byron boot camp, which is our like assessment centre still quite fun sort of day um, that we run every two weeks brilliant yeah, yeah. so you know it's, it's funny actually because I think there's been a real shift towards not interviewing people and actually selling yourself as an employer yeah um, you know in, in all sectors but I guess particularly when you're competing yeah. so you know uh, aggressively for, for talent yeah um, what do you do then to ensure that you are an employer of choice that you know you're engaging your employees yeah um, well, we do loads <laughs> um, and it's a real joy at, um, from a HR um, uh, um, as a HR director it's a real joy to be able to work in Byron because um, there's a real commitment even right from our investors people can see the link between um, our um, people strategy and the commercial success um, so if we don't have great people um, our sales won't be great and we won't be able to open new restaurants and we're expanding at 15 restaurants a year so um, so uh, we have a lot you know a lot yeah. to do so some of the stuff that we do we, we launched our three um, our people plan and uh, that was um, had three initiatives hire grow and love Byron um, and I told you a little bit about the hire bit yeah um, uh, but then the grow part is we launched our um, our development program for each level of the hamburger tree so we call it our career tree <laughs> it's um, it's uh, designed like a burger yeah. so each layer of the burger is um, a different job title and it shows to our employees how they can move up um, and progress their career um, as Byron grows um, so we've just launched for example um, our big cheese program which is uh, the program that helps talented general managers become ops managers right and um, we have our um, kitchen of excellence which is top bun um, and our uh, um, uh, centers of excellence which are our kind of some of our best GMs who train new starters into the business and mm. um, in other things that we do in training is we have a six week induction program before a general manager even lands in their restaurant so I'll do three day brainwashing we call it with uh, my team um, where they uh, learn all about our culture they taste uh, every single item on the food menu and then they drink every single item on the drinks menu so having <laughs> sounds um, fun yeah <laughs> it's, it's a great three days um, unfortunately at the end of each day you have a test so you can't really uh, uh, nail the day three, the drinks bit, yeah. because um, <laughs> you've got a quiz. Um, and other stuff that we do is um, we uh, have launched um, coaching and mentoring. So um, uh, uh, our managers who are on an acceleration program will get mentored. Um, and in some cases, they're mentored by the directors. So uh, we call one of our programs Tom's Talent. Um, and that's where we took um, the uh, best assistant and deputy managers in our business. We put them through an assessment day um, and those that were successful then went through um, a six months um, acceleration program. Um, and I mentored one of them, um, Tom, okay. our founder, mentored uh, another one. Uh, and actually, they've all made it to GM since. Um, and we do the same for our chefs as well. Um, so second chefs who want to become head chefs. Uh, and the feedback is, um, well, our retention, um, we've retained all of our chefs who graduated um, and they perform better um, as a result of that program than the chefs that we have in the business. Um, so there's a real commitment, like our, yeah. the ops managers are saying, can we do it three times a year? And we're like, uh, <laughs> we can do two. Um, and, so, and the same for our AM and DM program. 
So we do loads of training, um, but the love part um, is just as important in Byron. Um, so uh, one of the key elements of our culture is fun, yeah. um, and we bring fun into um, a lot of what we do. Um, and if you think about it, like fun is like it's quite hard to do. Like <laughs> if so, if I said be funny, yeah, like you'd be like, uh, <laughs> it's quite, yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's hard to do. And our employees are discerning. So if we came up with some cheesy rubbish, you know, they yeah. would be like, this isn't fun. This is cheesy rubbish. So yeah. we have to be quite innovative in what we do. Um, so we do things like um, we take all of our managers on the big trip. Um, so we took them for burger research to Barcelona nice. in the summer. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, I don't know where we're going next year, but we'll be going to Europe again. Okay. Um, and that's basically about family feel. So uh, it's where we, um, all the GMs, all of Berner Street, which is our head office. Um, and this year we're taking Tom's Top 20 Chefs because um, we felt that we needed to invest more in bringing the chefs into our culture. Um, so we all, we'll all be going off again in September. Um, and then we also run incentives. So um, the best performing area... Um, uh, so the last quarter they won a trip to New York Wow! Um, and Tom and Fred flew out um, to surprise them um, uh, and then they went out and partied and all of that sort of stuff um, and uh, this next quarter um, there's another set of uh, different areas won so they'll be going um, they'll be going elsewhere as well amazing yeah um, there's, and there's still loads more that we do um, in terms of live well um, we realised when I, I realised when I started that um, there wasn't uh, clear enough pay structures in place for people. Um, so what we've done is we've created pay bands that help people move up the um, uh, the, the hamburger tree. So um, depending on revenue size, there's four pay bands, and each pay band has a pay range. So now we've we've been able to be completely transparent with our uh, managers about if you want to progress, uh, you can go from a small smaller restaurant to a bigger one to a bigger one to a bigger one yeah. then you can go to kitchen the uh, center of excellence then you can go to the big cheese program so we've created loads of stepping stones to help yeah. um, and then people can move that progress their pay and that's helped that's been a real um, uh, a, a real help for us in um, organizing our pay structure so that we could be more transparent um, uh, for people because before it was quite secretive and it was a bit kind of Typically, confused yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then we we listen a lot. So um, uh, we run an engagement survey twice a year. Um, and we just get we just have the results back. And uh, when we ran the first one, it was an eighty-seven percent positive responses. So it was the teams I inherited were very pa- very passionate about Byron. And I thought to myself when I got that result, I thought, oh no, how am I going to increase that? Like mm. it's probably going to go backwards or something. And we've done a lot this year. We just had our results, and uh, I'm delighted to say that we've gone from eighty-seven to ninety-one percent um, positive responses. Wow. So we've grown our engagement and. 88% of people believe life had got better since the last survey. Um, so I was good. I was well chuffed. <laughs> <laughs> I get to stay in my job for another week. <laughs> and uh, so we, that's just one way that we listen, though. Um, I ran focus groups when I started um, with every, every position, chefs, KPs, um, waiters, bartenders, general managers, um, and they gave me everything I, ne- I needed to know um, and helped me make some decisions really quickly. It's the best thing I did. I'm about to start that process again for this next year's strategy. Um, but I think um, our senior team, the, the board, um, realised um, fairly quickly how important it was to, to listen. Yeah. Um, so Tom's run um, uh, feedback dinners about how um, he takes feedback on how our strategies have been delivered to the business so he can hold us to account as the board. Um, and uh, so he, he met with every single GM. Um, in the series of dinners um, and, and uh, ask them for feedback on how we're doing. Um, and uh, we consult now with focus groups before starting a project that might impact a restaurant. Yeah. Um, so uh, we definitely, and actually that score, I'm glad to say, on the engagement survey went up by 9%. So um, managers feel more consult, like they've been consulted and listened to more. Um, and we've done the same for chefs. So uh, we called it Be Frank with Fred. <laughs> There's a theme here. And, uh, and uh, we've just finished that. So we took them to the butchers. Um, we took them then to our um, brewery. 
um, and then um, uh, Fred took them for dinner and asked them a series of questions for feedback and we're just collating that and um, uh, developing a chef strategy for the next year. Um, all of this, uh, we've seen a 40% drop in labour turnover in a year. Wow. Yeah. I'm, I'm over the, I mean, yes. I'm really over the moon by that. And turnover in this industry is, is you know, known to be high yeah. as well. So. Yeah. Well, it was, um, it was over 100% when I started. So uh, wow. we've dropped it down to 65%, which is like, I think the average is about between 70 and 80. Yeah. So we've just seen it go like that throughout the year. Um, and really, the it started going down as um, from when we started listening yeah. um, and it's stability in restaurants is so important especially in a high culture business as mm. well like ours um, we send all of the teams out for Tom's Tab which is where they go out every quarter um, we cover their restaurants so they can go out as a team um, so every restaurant gets um, uh, money to take their team out um, uh, so that because um, friendship and fun together helps build the high performing teams and those high performing teams it's when the employees are having fun at work yeah that's the buzz that you see as a customer mm -hmm. and that's what our competitors find very difficult to imitate yeah fun i mean you've mentioned it a few times now um and i think regardless of whatever business you're in it's it's always uh, this this weird balance you know and and how important do you think having fun at work is, you know, not just in restaurants, but maybe in head office as well and things like that? And how important is fun um, and why should other businesses, you know, bring it into their organisations? Yeah, um, I think it's massively important and I think it's very easy to um, underestimate like the importance of it. Um, and it's something that has struck me um, and really fixed in my mind since being at Byron. Um, there was already lots of elements of fun, but maybe some of the fun had been lost in the past 12 months as everyone was really busy. Um, so we've done, we've literally got a strategy around fun. <laughs> and uh, we've, we call our team who look after fun, um, the Ministry of Fun. Nice. Um, so um, <laughs> yeah, so that's our job is to come up with, well, I'm kind of, I'm the credit card of fun. We all had job titles, so they yeah. use my company credit card to yeah. uh, do the events. But um, we've done all sorts of things like um, now for Fred, our chef, does um, uh, burger tasting mornings um, for different people in um, Burner Street, um, which is our office, or the restaurants. Um, we do, um, we've just launched the Beefters, and, and we realize that's our awards event. <laughs> yeah. um, so uh, we realized that there was one month in the year where we didn't have a party, um, so we've put that in <laughs> for the Beefters, um, and that's going to be a brilliant event. It's um, We've hired a venue that feels like a street party nice. and it's got lots of like um, little different food and drink offerings um, and so it will be you know it's not going to be a black tie awards party it's going to be like a casual street party but we're going to really celebrate the best people in our business and um, we're doing things like competitions so we're having our bar heats at the moment um, where they have to do things like make the perfect milkshake which is actually quite a skill <laughs> I uh, don't underestimate that and um, they do like they have to spot the standards but all the time you know we bring the energy and um, the management team to um, create those elements of fun we have a bourbon shot every Friday before uh, going home and Tom our founder every Friday will no matter where he is at anywhere in the world and um, he uh, FaceTimes in with a shot and has a shot with us nice. um, so, uh, and, so and that's that's what we've got a dartboard uh, we've got a beer fridge in the office as well um, it's not all about booze though we've got a fruit bowl yeah. <laughs> and we uh, and we do um, we go for random like picnics and uh, and things like that. Yeah. Um, but in the in the restaurants, the fun is it's about being um, uh, not, you know the management team. We have to set the example when we're in the restaurants. It's um, it's about you know not being stuffy, not being formal, mm. um, being uh, you know having having a bit of a laugh with people. We've had um, five Christmas parties uh, throughout. Uh, so that we could get every single um, uh, employee through um, without having to shut the restaurant. So yeah, <laughs> it yeah. took, but, um, and we did fancy dress. We live a bit fancy dress. Nice. Um, <laughs> yeah, someone, one of our ops managers went as um, a, a fish tank, uh, <laughs> which was a brilliant costume. I've got to say, yeah. legendary. <laughs> um, and then, you know, the trips uh, are 
key way um, for how we drive fun. So um, it starts with us all in um, uh, the airport at 6 a.m. Um, having uh, um, maybe a beer or something like that, and then we all get on a plane. We're on two planes, um, uh, and then uh, we went to landed in Barcelona, and then we had loads of activities and burger tastings, and Amazing. you know, just spending time together yeah. um, without an overly scripted yeah. format. Yeah, is it, it, fun is like you said earlier. It's not something that you can you know, that you can script and, yeah. and say, right, this is fun. We're going to do this. Yeah, it, it, I think from the sense of it, it's all about your culture and yeah. and being relaxed. I yeah. guess rather than creating fun, it's relaxing the the, the strictness and yeah. allowing fun. So, yeah, no, yeah, that's good. yeah. There's nothing like a rule book to squash fun. So yeah. uh, we we keep the rule book tiny um, and we trust people to make the right decisions mm-hmm. um, and then that and then we give people the freedom really to happen there are some things that we do like regularly planned fun which is um, uh, when we uh, our mystery shoppers are called squirrels oh, right. um, or secret squirrels <laughs> yeah um, and there's this um, horrible trophy which is like a, a stuffed squirrel <laughs> and it looks like it needs a bit of a clean but it's like a symbol of our culture yeah. and um, when every GM's meeting um, uh, each quarter when we announce the quarterly winner Tom dresses up in this um, really old ratty squirrel costume um, which is hilarious and uh, throws nuts at the crowd so nice <laughs> yeah. so there's some bits like that that you know it would be a gem meeting if that didn't happen but yeah. the rest of it is just you know um, it's it's free form but then we do we make sure we do um, lots of things together we take every opportunity to celebrate something Yeah. so we had our 50 to restaurant party um, not long ago um, now we're at 60 so it's kind of only about yeah. six months ago um, and uh, yeah so we do lots of we invest a lot in um, uh, getting time together as, a, as one big family excellent well thank you very much for uh, giving us an insight into how Byron is fun um, and uh, good luck in the future as the restaurants expand and expand thank you thank you thank you